Good evening. This is Remax Realtor Wes Garrison. Checking in again with you for a second time today. Just talking about a couple different conversations I have with clients. The purpose of these videos I make is just to inform people out there the reality of the inner workings and the inner conversations that you have with people on a day-to-day -day basis when buying and selling real estate. <clears throat> so just had a conversation with a friend of mine and the topic of the conversation was the difference between retail and wholesale realtors and unfortunately for him the context of the conversation was he had hired a realtor who was treating his retail house like a wholesale project he wasn't really happy with it at all he knew <clears throat> he knew he could get full price for it he knew he could get about 254 for 255, which is what the comps were. And the realtor was bringing him low ball offers, 180 cash. I think the recent one he got was 230 cash. He knew he wasn't doing a good job. So we're going to talk about the difference here. So a wholesale realtor <clears throat> is going to do give you wholesale service <clears throat> at wholesale prices. He's probably not going to charge you that much in commission, so you get what you pay for. Discount prices, discount service. Um, usually, as especially was the case in this case, he also has a conflict of interest. And what does it mean by that? Well, in this case, for example, he's working with local investors, and he is bringing those investors to the table with the condition that he's going to not only get the front end, commission for listing and selling the property is also going to get the back end when he relists the property after these investors do whatever they do um, to uh, to fix the place up and make it get an extra 10 15 20 thousand out of it whatever it is they think they can get out of it uh, which was way not in the client's best interest and not in his client's best interest not in my friend's best interest not to mention he was also listing the single agent fee as two and a half percent on the MLS which uh, the standard fee is 6% split. 3% to the listing agent, 3% to the buying agent. Even starting realtors get 3%. That's pretty much the understood. Any higher, any lower than that, uh, you're going to get problems. Um, so he's getting it. So he's keeping, he's listed it at 6%, but he's keeping an extra half percent for himself. So this is just creating a huge conflict of interest. My friend isn't happy. His service is poor. The guy only took a couple of pictures and the, and the property in the worst state that it was. Well, it was the lawn wasn't mowed. It was just, he wasn't even ready yet. And uh, still hasn't changed the pictures. My friend says, well, what do I do? Well, that's not the topic of the video. What does he do? The topic of this video is what's the difference between a wholesale and a real sale and a retail realtor. Now a retail realtor, that's what we are. My brother and I, the Garrison brothers at Remax town and country we give you retail experience we give you retail service that means we're gonna have the best pictures the best marketing the best service we're available when you need us we bring the best buyers to the table we hold out for the best offers and usually in this market the sellers market it's really not that difficult to hold out for the best offers because sometimes you get two three four five offers in a day because uh, our inventory is really low here in Orlando um, so you kind of get what you pay for, you know, and, and unfortunately for him, he's under the listing agreement with, and, you know, his, the only thing he can do in his best interest is to say, no, I'm not going to take the offer and, and, and ride it out uh, at this point. That's a decision that, the, that my friend, the client is, is making, but he's certainly not getting the experience. He's certainly not selling his house. Uh, his realtor is certainly not treating him. And